Welcome back to Real Talk with Elliot, where I make videos to respond to your burning questions to help you live a better, happier life. And today's question comes from Laura Bungeon, who asks, how do I procrastinate less? Well, Laura, I have a, I have a response to this that might surprise you. I read a research recently that says some of the most productive people in the world are also people who procrastinate. But over the years, I've had tons of clients and I've met tons of people that struggle with their procrastination and they want to be different. So my response to you actually isn't to procrastinate less, it's to embrace that that's how you work. It's to embrace that that's how you get things done. There is nothing wrong with procrastinating as long as you eventually complete the task that you're trying to complete on time. Now, if you're saying I procrastinate so much that I put things off and thus never get them done, I would say give yourself a deadline. And if you're saying I'm the type of person that waits till the end of the deadline and then gets things done, well, congratulations, you're one of the most productive people on the planet. I think what's really underlying this question is we have a tendency to think about our flaws and want to fix them. Procrastination being a flaw, so I want to fix this flaw. But actually, I want you to understand that you can't be perfect. You're going to have flaws, so I want you to embrace who you are as a person. I also am someone who procrastinates. I do almost everything at the last minute. But I embrace that that's who I am, and that's actually how I work at my very best. If I start planning things out um, many, many you know days ahead or weeks ahead or even months ahead, I feel constrained to the plan and it makes me start feeling claustrophobic. There's something about procrastination that allows me to feel free. And I've had to learn that I still have to get it done by the deadline, even if I do it just before the deadline. And once I learned that, it's just a healthier place for me. If someone were to come and try to make me a non-procrastinator, it would actually impact my mental health in a negative way. So I want you to understand, like, it's important that you get tasks done. So give yourself a deadline and then honor that deadline. But if you're the type of person that waits until right before the deadline to get things done, then be that type of person and be proud of it. I think very often we are embarrassed about our flaws. We try to fix our flaws. But, you know, my thinking is if I'm going to have flaws, like no matter how much I work on these things, uh, I'm going to have flaws. Like I'm not going to be a per perfect person then I wanna make sure that my flaws work for me and I understand who I am when I'm at my very best. And who I am and when I'm at my very best is someone who waits at the last minute to do things. Uh, and I'm proud of that actually, because I do get them done by the deadline. I just wait until the last minute because that's actually when I'm at my best. And if you are that way too, congratulations, you're among the most productive people on the planet. So Laura, I hope that helps you. I hope that makes some sense to you. It might be an odd answer, uh, given what you were probably expecting, but it is the truth. It is real. And I hope it makes a difference for you and everybody else listening. So if you would like me to make a video for you and help you live a life that is better and address a burning question you have, please send me your questions via email. You can text me at 972-426-2640. You can leave a comment on this video. You can DM me on social media. Get a hold of me however you want to. And without your contribution, I can't make these videos. So please, please, please send in your questions. I look forward to making a video for you.